So you retire off as the CEO at the age of 57. What did you decide you wanted to do when you left? I had not really given it a ton of thought uh, until I left. I, again, had this sort of hardcore notion. I was supposed to just give, give it all for Microsoft until I leave. So I leave, and uh, what am I going to do? Well, owning a sports team was attractive. So within a few weeks, I went and visited Roger Goodell and Adam Silver, the NBA and NFL commissioners. I thought that would be a fun thing to do. Uh, and my wife, who'd been involved in philanthropic stuff, really focused in on foster kids and disadvantaged kids in the state of Washington, she said, come on, dude, it's time. You got to get involved. Uh, so uh, I did. Um, at first, I said, come on, government takes care of these problems. And she said, no, philanthropy's got a role. But it did intrigue me to what degree government really does help disadvantaged kids I had a hard time finding the numbers, which led to me starting this thing called USA Facts. And between USA Facts, our philanthropy, the Clippers, and having a good time, which in my case means exercising and playing golf, um, my life's pretty full. Okay. I don't play golf because my theory was if I had a meeting with you and you thought I was competent and intelligent and you saw me on the golf course, it would destroy the illusion of competence. So I, that's why I don't play. Um, but uh, I, You're probably right, and I still play. So uh, let's talk about the organization you started, USA Facts. How did you get involved in this idea, and what is it now doing? So I said, I really want a consolidated view of what government does. Where does the money come from? Where does it go? And oh, by the way, also, what are the impacts? You know, if we're transferring wealth, what does quality of life look like? We're investing in education. What is the quality of the outcome? How, how good are or how well are our kids doing? What are your philanthropic goals, uh, would you say, in terms of areas you want to focus on with the wealth that you have? Yeah, we're single purpose. What can we do to improve the chances that kids born at the bottom of the economic total pole, their parents are, move up economically? You're always going to have some people who are at the bottom of the economic total pole. It shouldn't just be the same people all the time. People should be moving up. People should have a shot at the American dream, which is the chance to do whatever you want to do. And that's not true for a lot of kids. When they're born, their probability of staying where they are economically is very, very high. I don't think that's okay. There are a lot of reasons. People will point to education. Education's a part of it, but there are a lot of reasons why kids can't get an education. And I think it's important to take a look at that chain and then try to find not only the not-for-profits to invest in, we think it's very important to try to stimulate the right behaviors by government and the right spending by government because it can make a huge difference. 